This is Revel Point Track It. It's their optical tracking 3D scanner. It's marker free laser scanning. This is just a quick unboxing of it, how it comes. This right here is a track it bar. It's the optical tracker that will track the scanner. This case here holds the scanner and cables. This is just a quick unboxing, just to kind of show you what's in the box. Then I'll go ahead and get into the scanning. Here's the scanner itself. It's fairly lightweight. Well, let's get started. Okay, I just finished doing the calibration. I had to bring the scanner inside. It was simply much too hot outside. The calibration process is fairly simple. Everything is guided. As you can see in this quick little video here, it tells you everything to do and you just align everything. Right here is just a quick demo of it doing its calibration. As you can see, it's pretty automated. Now on to some scanning. I simply mounted this turbo compressor on this little arm for a tripod holder. So that way I am able to get to both sides of it and get under it and above it. I have the track it bar mounted off to the side behind the camera. But as you can see, it easily picks up everything. I can easily get around to all the sides of it without using any markers, without any tracking loss. I'll just go ahead and speed this up so that I can get to the actual finished scan. And here's the finished scan. This is just the raw data. It hasn't even been fused into a point cloud yet. I'll go ahead and fuse it into a point cloud just using the recommended settings. Now that that's finished, I'll just go ahead and clean up, removing the little holder. Other than that, there's nothing else that I see that needs cleaning up. So I'll just process the scan. And I'll just mesh it on the recommended settings. So now that that's finished, this is how the model came out. I did end up using hole fill. So the bottom portion is filled in. But everything on the model looks great. And I was able to do this in one single scan without rotating or flipping the item simply because the track it scans in 3D space. So there's no need for markers or anything on it. Next up, I have this black intercooler piping. It's plastic. I did a similar setup where I just mounted it to the edge of the table with the holder. That way I can get around to all sides. As you can see, the track it lasers picks up black without problems. And I'm easily able to just kind of move around and get everything scanned. I'll go ahead and speed this up. Now that that's finished, I'll just go ahead and process the scan like before. Again, just using the recommended settings for the video. But what's great about having a scanner like this is that you can get around the item without losing any tracking, without placing a ton of marker dots. Also, you don't need to have defined features to track. 
since the track it bar is actually tracking the scanner in 3D space. Right here, I'm simply cleaning up the scan. As you can see, the scan came out great. It captured more than enough detail to reverse engineer this. I didn't have to place any markers on it. I didn't have to spray it, didn't have to do anything like that. Just simply scanned away. This right here is just a test, just to show that it can actually scan something shiny. I end up using this box cutter that happens to be very shiny. As you can see, it picked up without any problems and filled in pretty quickly. And here's the finished scan. I won't even bother fusing it. Just look at the raw data. Everything picked up nicely. I even start scanning some of the table and went back to the box cutter just to show you that it keeps tracking very well. And on to the final scan for the video. This is a pressure plate for a clutch. As you can see, it easily picks it up. There's no spinning, no spiraling, because this is a symmetrical item. The track it handles it just fine. I'll just go ahead and process the scan. As you can see, Everything came out nice and clear. There are a couple little tabs that are missing on the end side. I accidentally deleted those when I did the isolation. As you can see, if I go back up to the raw data, you can see that they're there. So yeah, that's my quick demo of the track it by Revel Point. Uh, stay tuned for more. I should have some more videos coming. Thank you for watching.